Dublin. White's premier autumn auction will offer this sizable, newly discovered work titled On the Hill of Howth, Co. Dublin, C.191214 by William Orpener's Lot 35 estimate €30,000, €50,000. The drawing comes from the estate of Dublin judge, Desmond Windle, to whom it was gifted by his collector aunt, Mary Molly Matthews, on the occasion of his wedding. The girl lies before the viewer holding a knot of tiny flowers that have survived the fierce winds of Howth Hill and stretch as her right arm skywards expressing a sense of bohemian youth and abandon. Expertly drafted, it forms part of a highly desirable body of work executed in delicate lines and washers of colour and is thought to depict Orpen's daughter Mary known as Bunny. A number of other works in the sale come from this estate of the distinguished lawyer and art lover Desmond Windle 19,332,014 who was a collector for over 60 years. Among the other artists from his collection in this sale are Patrick Collins, John Bean, Michael Caine, Charles Brady, Charles Harper, George Campbell and Shay N. McSweeney. Four open aficionados with a smaller budget, a cartoon of Wexford-born politician John Redmond from 1903 comes in at €1,000, €1,500, Lot 31. Standing the test of time and taste Paul Henry Jack B. Yates for today's collected the acquisition of one of Paul Henry's masterworks remains a bold statement on taste and means. West of Ireland Bog Lot 21, estimate €80,000, €100,000 is a tour de force example by the artist whose quintessential depictions of the Connemara landscape continue to attract huge attention in the sale room. Jack Butler Yates is represented in the sale by two lots an oil and a watercolour lot 29, against the stream, 1945, 60,000 euros, 80,000 euros, illustrated below and C. Fogg, 1909, lot 22, 8,000 euros, 10,000 euros. Both works represent a major theme in Yates' Wevera, the sea and rivers and the people and livelihoods connected to them. Profound questions about the purpose of an individual life sat against the bigger forces of the natural world are posed in these integral works both of which will draw collectors. The latter was originally owned by the famous Irish-American collector John Quinn. For Yates archivists, that is from 19,491,957 will be of interest, these guide 1,000 euros, 1,500 euros appearing as lot 30. Other landscapes such as Morris Canning Wilksman of the West Lot 20, Windle Coll, come in at a comparatively modest sum of €5,000 €7,000. While Dublin scenes by Harry Kernoff Lots 1 3, estimates from €2,000 and Walter Osborne Lot 36, €25,000 €35,000 demonstrate varying artistic styles from the late 1890s to the 1950s. Continental Influences Influences Lot 34, Roderick O'Connor, Nude Bathing C.18971898 guides €15,000, €20,000 and shows the influence of Norwegian artist Edward Munch's painting Madonna of 18,931,894. O'Connor's oil is executed in a heavily textured style that was reworked several times before completion. Sir John Lavery who was heavily influenced by Whistler and North Africa is represented with a large portrait of a lady, Mary Baron Toddy Lot 41, 30,000 euros, 40,000 euros and a small oil sketch for his celebrated Moorish dance Lot 42, 8,000 euros, 12,000 euros. Both are expertly described in the catalogue by Lavery author Professor. Kenneth McConkey, Lot 11 William Leach The Gardens, Made of Ale, London, €15,000, €20,000 shows the impact of France on the artist's palette and technique and shows his wife May Bottle near where he lived and worked in London. Other famous artists represented in the auction are Gerard Dillon, Colin Middleton, Nora McGuinness, Basil Blackshaw, Louis Le Brocqui, George Campbell, Daniel O'Neill, Patrick Collins, Diana Copper White, Gwen O'Dowd, and sculpture from John B. and F. E. McWilliam, among others. All the artworks are on display with full descriptions and many interesting notes from art experts at www.whites.ie. This fabulous auction, comprising over 180 works of art, will be on view at the RD's Anglesey Road entrance, Bulls Bridge, Saturday to Monday, the 30th of September to the 2nd of October 2017, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Daily admission and parking is free.
The auction will be broadcast live on the internet at whites.ie, invaluable.com, auctionzip.com, enches.lafigaro.fr and the salerum.com. Collectors around the world can bid live from the computers, smart TVs, mobile phones or Android devices.